Then organizing. I have used the example of picnic. You see that all the night you work hard and finally you have a draft regarding the destination of the picnic, fees of the picnic, and about the qualities of the participants, the number of participants, all this you have written in a paper means you have a plan. Then you discuss with one of your friends and he agreed or she agreed to work with you to organize a picnic. So both of you are going to organize. Now organizing started. So process of organizing incorporates that you have to identify all the tasks, all the jobs you want to perform. If you run an organization, you have to identify 100, 200 jobs you are going to perform or your organization related to the jobs. And then you have to divide all the jobs into different departments or categories. Like all the purchase jobs under purchase department, all the finance and accounts jobs related to finance and accounts, all the recruitment and selection and training jobs, under human resource management, all the technology related jobs under IT department and this way you have to make so many departments. You have to set the hierarchy, which department will come first then which department then which department or who are under top level, who are under mid level, who are under operational level so that everybody can understand what to do and what should not to do. And this way you can practice organizing. You can also delegate some responsibilities. You can clarify, explain who is responsible for what kind of jobs. So you can avoid conflict. You can also have decision regarding decision making, whether you will follow centralized decision making or decentralized decision making. If you take all the decisions, if bosses take all the decisions, if the top level take all the decisions, then that is centralized decision making. But if the different level managers can take decision, that is decentralized decision making.